this video we're going to talk about how we are a product of our decisions and not of our circumstances. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm here to help you attain your writing goals. If you're new to this channel, click on subscribe and stick for a while. So, one of the best ways to be able to grow as a person is to realize that every decision that you make it's going to affect your life and to own them own your decisions own whatever it is that it's happening in your life because it's very easy just to say i'm leaving what i'm leaving because it's what life has given me but of course we are dealt a certain hand in life like everyone but what we make about that hand is what really defines us as a person so for example, I'm sure that we have all heard about all these people that have lived through difficult times and some pretty nasty things and they have grown over them and they have not only grown over them but they have really used them to become a better person and to get where they wanted to be. So they are not superheroes, they are not superhuman, they are not different, they just have a mindset that helps them own their decisions and realize that yeah life can be crappy sometimes but whatever it is that it's given to you it's up to you to do something about it. Okay so let's talk about horseback riding. So we all know that it's a difficult sport and more so because you are working with another living being, another, another living being that has its own uh, moods and his own physical reactions. So you have to be careful to realize that okay one day you can be dealt something like pretty crappy by your horse and it is whatever it is that you're going to make out of it that it's going to help you either grow as a rider or maybe set you back a little bit and maybe a lot. Let me explain. For example, you get you get to the barn, you are pumped up, you're energized, you are positive and your horse is not, not at all. You know those days when you go in into the stable and he just pins his ears and he's like uh, get away from me and you already you realize that this is going to be difficult today. So you try just like, yeah, okay, you, you continue your, your thing, you get him out, you prepare him, you get on him and it's hell. <laughs> he doesn't really want to work, he's not, he's really not in the mood for it. But the first thing to do, of course, it's just be sure that there's nothing physical about the horse. It's like he's not in pain or that nothing is wrong with it because maybe they are just being cranky because they are not okay and once you're sure that everything is okay that's where, where the decision making comes and you can either make a decision out of a whim like in reaction to your horse's reaction or you can take a pause and reflect on whatever it is that it's happening and make a decision out of your reflection, like a thought of decision. So yes, if he's cranky and he's trying to buck you off and he really doesn't want to do the exercise you want and the horse is just really acting up, so you can get all angry and punish him and just, or maybe you can tell yourself, okay, no, today's not the good day and I'm going to do something else. I'm just going to go for a ride like outside like on the trail or something and stop trying to work with him because he doesn't want to. Or you can pause and ask yourself okay so how can I get my horse to do what I want him to do because we have to work on this because we want to continue growing on this type of exercises and what it is how, how can I do it. And most of the time if you have the patience and the kindness towards your horse, he she is going to do it. He she is going to give you whatever it is that you're asking for. So if you take the first option and you just get angry and punish him or just to stop doing whatever it is that you wanted to do, in some way you're betraying your horse because the horse has to be able to lean on you. He has to be able to realize that you are the leader and by doing these things, by getting angry with him or her, by punish him or by stop doing whatever it is that you want to do, 
the horse kind of gets lost because on the first instance with the punishment and the angriness he he can get even more angry and like every time that you're going to try to do that exercise he's going to remember that it was difficult one time and that you got angry and that you punished him so he won't want to do that type of exercise again or in the case if you just stop trying to do the exercise the horse can also tell himself like okay so when I act up this we stop doing whatever it is that I don't want to do so so yeah it's a form of betrayal because they need to understand they need to know that you're the one in charge so that they can give themselves to you so if you don't own up to your decisions and just tell yourself that it was your circumstances and if you could if this is something that continues happening with your horse you're going to tell yourself at one point or another like if this is something that is happening for a whole month at the end of the month the the relationship with the horse and every time that you will want to do this exercise is going to be difficult and you're going to say yeah it's because my horse doesn't want to do it or it's because he's just not able to do it or it's because he's not really a dressage horse or a jumping horse or whatever it is that you do as a, as a discipline and you can just like tell yourself okay so this is my circumstance and this is my life and I cannot do anything about it and this is what's going to define me as a rider because it's my horse but you have to realize that it was your decision that took you to that place it was the fact that you got angry or the fact that you stopped trying to do the exercise that one month later got you where you were. Once you realize this, once you own up to this, you're going to be able to become a better rider because you are going to realize that every decision that you make with your horse, even if it's a little decision, it's going to grow and it's going to build up to get you somewhere. And that somewhere, once you are on that place, it, it's because decision by decision, you have taken yourself to that place. So yeah, it's, it's important. It's important to, to understand that your decisions make you. Your decisions make whatever it is that you're going to live. And it's not saying that we cannot make bad decisions. Of, of course we can make wrong decisions. That's, it's, it's human, it's normal. But even those wrong decisions, it's something that we have to own up to because it's the only way that we are going to be able to grow from them and try and not repeat them. So yeah, I hope that this video can inspire you to own up to your decisions and to become a better person because of it. And either they are good or they are bad, we make mistakes. Just realize that everything that you do is going to take you somewhere. So if this is something that resonates with you or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I will be very, very happy to hear from you. I will be posting my next video on Thursday on my goal setting journey series. And if you haven't seen this series, I introduced them last week. I will put the link somewhere over here so that you can watch it. And yeah, it's going to be my journey towards a goal that I just set for myself and it is to compete on a freestyle on the 7th of October. So if this is something that could interest you, please come and watch. And if you have already subscribed but you haven't hit that bell button, please do because it's going to give you a notification every time that I post a new video on. Until then, see ya! Bye!